So my daughter Emma has been carnivore for 14 days now. <laughs> oh, off? Oh, are you okay? And uh, six days ago, on her eighth day, I took her out for a steak. And so we're gonna show you that, but then we're gonna jump back to present time, which is today. And as of right now, Emma's been on day 14. So watch this video till the end, so you can see uh, what changes Emma has experienced in 14 days of carnivore. Give them a quick sneak peek. How do you feel at day 14? I feel amazing. So we're going to tell them the rest at the end of this video, but now let's take a jump back a couple days to when I took Emma to a fancy steak restaurant and bought her an $85 steak. You got to do $85 worth of chores around here now. Oh, I already did. Oh yeah, what was that? Three days working on the shed at 80 degrees. Yeah, I got my $85 worth. She uh, worked on our wood shed. We're going to show you that too. Oh, I've been a carnivore for 55 days and it's completely changed my life and my daughter's life. And now my other daughter, Emma, who's been a vegan, for nearly five years now, she quit being a vegan, she switched over to carnivore, which is just completely blowing my mind, never in a million years. I don't have a gun to her head, she's right there right now. And we're taking her right now for an $81 steak. And the most amazing thing happened. My 15 year old daughter, one of the triplets, Emma, she's been a vegan for almost five years now, four or five years since she was 11. She started out as a vegetarian for a couple years, then she switched to hardcore vegan, and she's been so strict on it, and uh, I didn't think it would last. I, uh, I respect and appreciate her as a father. I probably should have told her to stop earlier because of the malnutrition issue, but I just let her do it. I figured she'd only go for a couple months while she went for a couple years, but her health has been declining. She's pale, she's weak, she's completely fatigued all the time. She's going to bed at like six o'clock when she gets home from school. I keep encouraging her to eat. Long story short, she decided on her own, and I know you guys are gonna say, oh, you forced her to do it, you convinced her to do it. I didn't do any of that. She did watch my videos, and she has seen all of my changes. I've lost 30 pounds on carnivore diet. I feel so much better, I got so much more energy. I could tell she was tapping out, she didn't wanna do it anymore. She was so weak and just not getting nutrition on the vegan diet. So yesterday she ate eggs for the first time. Nursery. <laughs> <laughs> I can't! You have it, you're overthinking it. That's so it. weird. You got it. It's fine, if you don't like it, just spit it out and try a fried egg. Okay, ready? Someone cut me off. Three, two, one. I think it's so good because I'm starving. You might want to add some salt. Oh. Do you like That's it? so good. Actually, no, she's joking. That's so good. Really? I feel like you're joking. Really? It's so good. Oh, shoot, I almost ate the whole thing. Why did you change right now? First of all, I became vegan because of all the animals, all the chickens that are all hunched together in a group and they live for like two weeks and then they die just for their eggs. And then when they stop laying, they kill them. And then, like, all of the chicks. Now I'm, and then I became vegan because of a movie about animals and I realized oh, animals yeah. like, need to die for me to eat. And the whole time I had it wrong when eating cauliflower and, uh, <laughs> you, I'm cringing. You shouldn't be, Emma, you just changed. You only for years <laughs> that you thought you were healthy. Oh, off? Aw, oh, are you okay? She said, uh, oh my goodness, this tastes so good. And you can just see the life coming back into her. And then the steak is cold, but I still think it tastes good cold. You haven't had any bacon in five years. Is that what you're telling me? Almost five years. Four years, almost five. No. I'm not forcing you to do it. If you don't want to do I it, know. I don't care. I'm scared. I'm scared. Eat it now or you're never going to eat it. It feels so wrong. Oh, I can't. You got it. Everything's in my body is telling me not to. I'm scared. Okay, ready? Okay, yeah, we're ready. Everyone's so ready. Give me a push. Three. Two, one, go! I'm already. Can I just like show me mouth? It's really good. <laughs> it's bacon. It's one of the best things in the world. You can try the steak now. No, no, I'll be able to survive. Eat the steak. Now you can just survive on bacon and eggs. 
So what's it? You're not gonna do steak today? I don't know. You can do whatever you want. No, no, yeah. I think she wants her. Okay, Alyssa, eat all Emma's I steak. I said I'm gonna eat Aaron's. I ate it. I'm gonna eat some. I'm proud of you. Have more bacon. I'm slowly trying to transition her. It's very important if anyone wants to do the carnivore diet, you don't just jump into it. Have her do keto for a couple days, some bone broth and some eggs, and just real light. Come on, friend. Will he stab me? Oh gosh. Hey, hurry, 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 hurry! Can you run over that? <laughs> carnivore. Pre-carnivore, I'd be laying on the ground screaming and in pain, crying, urinating on myself right now. That's the truth. The four dogs in the dog kennel. And we have a movie today, and it's so busy right now. At one o'clock, we have a private birthday party at the movie theater, there's like 50 people coming. We have guests in our Airbnb rental for two weeks, and the whole dog kennel's full. We're pretty busy, we're very thankful for that. Right, Alyssa? And look how beautiful it is out. Look at this, all the... The leaves are green. We got these nice flowers. I planted these myself. We right didn't. I planted those yesterday. I grew them from seeds. Hi! Oh, we got some cute dogs. What's this one's name? Otto. Huh? Otto. O T T O? What's your name? Otto. Otto? Otto. O T T O. Like a man called Otto? My favorite movie? Otto! Nice to meet you. Well, listen, I just noticed these, these dogs all have eyebrows. Look at this. Otto, show us your eyebrows. Look at the eyebrows on this dog, isn't it cute? Hey, Otto, let's see your eyebrows. Otto, right here. Let's see those eyebrows. Otto's even real. Otto's not having it. Now, how can you seriously not say like, this is the best job in the world? Those are the cows, my neighbor's cows that we purchased. These are the fields they graze in. Let's all go to the movies and have ourselves some fun. Let's go. Let's, Let's all go it. to the movies. Hello? Hello? Decided she didn't want to be a vegan anymore. One of the best decisions she's ever made. Why did you decide that? Because of the health benefits and because it turns out as I was vegan, I was killing millions of animals. So I feel such like a hypocrite. So I'd rather eat like a, one cow. How are you killing millions of animals? I'll put a little stat on the thing because in my carnivore update video that's got almost 300,000 views now, I got so many good comments and then a lot of comments from vegan plant-based people saying I'm a horrible person, I'm killing animals. Did you know that last year, 62 million birds, per the EPA, died from pesticide poisoning? Along with fox, deer, moles, squirrels, rabbits, bunnies, endless tragedy and death so that vegans could have their multitude of different vegetables in their salads. So I'm not judging anyone. If you want to be vegan, I think that's awesome. You do you, I'll do me. The only reason I'm saying this is because I've had so many comments about that. I get one cow, local grass-fed cow right down the road. My neighbor's a farmer, he grows it. I buy my beef from him. One cow dies and gives me 400 meals. A vegan eats one salad and endless death to all these birds and millions of insects. So that's my justification for it. And I think that was what you were trying to say too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I covered it. So tonight, to celebrate, Emma's been carnivore now. And can you tell them too, did I put a gun to your head and force you to do this? Yes. People are gonna say, people are gonna say I forced you to do it. First of all, when, when Emma decided to become a vegan, I could have forced her not to. And the reason I did it was because I was proud of her. She was doing it because she's compassionate for animals. And honestly, I didn't think it would last freaking five years. I thought, I thought she'd do it for a couple months and then stop, but she did it for five years. So she had the information. I told her when she was vegan, she's gonna get malnourished and she needs to eat more protein. And we got in fights about it all the time, but ultimately she can make her own decisions. She made her own decision to do carnivore too. I told her that was a bad idea. I said, you should do keto for a long time and then you should do carnivore. She jumped she right into carnivore. I switched to it like that, but I switched to it like that. So how many days have you been carnivore now? This is day eight. This is day eight, and if you guys follow the channel, you'll know my other daughter, Lily, who had open heart surgery, she did 30 days of carnivore with me, and it completely changed everything for her. Her HS, this horrible skin condition she had for years, completely cleared up on her back, and she lost a bunch of weight, and then she decided to jump off a of carnivore and try keto for a while. Well, now she's back on carnivore. My other daughter, Alyssa's on carnivore, and Emma's on carnivore, and so we just have two left to convert over.
What has really anything good. changed yet? How was the transition period? Well, the first day was really rough, but that's because the first day I only ate eggs, and the day before that I didn't eat. But otherwise, now I feel great. I've been getting way more sleep. My skin, my skin has been getting so much better. There's still acne, but it definitely cleared up a lot. How are you feeling? Because if we're being honest, before this, when she was doing carnivore, when she was doing vegan, she was really going downhill. And we kept yelling at her and encouraging her and just saying, you got to eat more. And I don't know, oh, for yeah, the last couple of months, like she would just eat cauliflower every night. That would be it. Nothing else. Cauliflower. Ca go get me cauliflower. She'd eat like two cauliflower a night and that would be it. And then she'd go to bed. What time would she go to bed, Jen? Six o'clock sometimes? Yeah. Six o'clock in the afternoon sometimes. I'm like, why are you in bed now? This is ridiculous. Well, and she also, I'll show a clip of this. We're building the ultimate woodshed on Homestead Howe. And uh, it's, we're using these huge six by six by 20 foot long pressure treated beams that I swear those things are very, very heavy. I don't know how we're doing it, but Emma and I lifted quite a few of those. Yeah, and then like in gym at school, I couldn't even like lift the bar. Now I can lift the bar and add some weights. So what is your long term plan? Are you just doing this for 30 days and you're going to see if no, your skin clears up and if you feel better? For a long time, I think. So right now, most of the food that we eat and that Emma eats on a daily basis is we're very fortunate we have our own chickens and they're free range chickens. So we have farm fresh eggs and our chickens are treated great. And this is one thing that Emma's doing unique and that I'm adopting as well and that I probably should have adopted is she was compassionate to become a vegan and she's a compassionate carnivore. Is that a term? Maybe I just made something new up there. She's a compassionate carnivore. It's been ridiculous, but she vets all of the food and she's not eating any food. So if you go to Walmart and just buy a cheap chicken egg and it was some chicken that was, I totally agree with this too. I lived a total horrible life and I only eat stuff that I know where it came from a great place and is humane. So if the chicken was stuck in a cage and they just pumped it full of stuff and they got an egg out of it and then they killed it, we're not gonna eat a chicken like that. We're gonna eat free range chickens that had good lives like our chickens, our neighbor's chickens, and it's a little bit more expensive, but we're very fortunate to be able to do that. And then the same thing with the beef. We're buying beef that is um, responsibly and humanely raised, and most of our beef we're getting right now is from our neighbors, and we drive past the cows every day, and they, they're grazing in a huge, beautiful field. They have a good, happy life. And so that's my argument, too, is, again, anyone can do what they want, but I really feel that carnivore is the most compassionate diet there can be. I, the only other thing that could be more compassionate would just to be eating farm fresh eggs only and nothing else. And to the vegans out there that have their multitude of different vegetables, I say to them, if you want to be uh, more compassionate, why don't you just eat one vegetable? I'm always kind of doing that, but that wasn't my point. But I'm just saying, just eat carrots because we just eat a cow and that's it. And one cow dies, gives us 400 meals. If you just ate carrots, but think of how many more animals die when you add in cucumbers and tomatoes yeah. and you add in all those other vegetables. I'm taking her to a steak restaurant that's a very fancy restaurant. I'm going to buy her a very expensive steak. And now I know a lot of people are going to say, must be nice to be able to afford all that steak. I could never afford to do the carnivore diet. I'm going to do a whole video on that, but I'll tell you right now, my grocery bill is 50% what it used to be. And I'll explain it to you very quickly. The reason is because most typical Americans, including myself, if I wasn't eating carnivore and I was doing the typical American diet, go out for breakfast. Then they get their Starbucks coffee. Then they have a crash after their breakfast and coffee before lunch. They eat a granola bar or a snack. Then they have lunch. Then they have an apple or some fruit for their little afternoon snack. Then they have dinner. Then they have dessert. Then they have beer or drinks or potato chips or snacks or junk food at home. Then they maybe go out to eat once or twice. And they have soda and beverages and all of that. I have one steak. Yesterday I ate one steak and it cost me thirteen dollars. Yes, it's a different mindset. When you're on carnivore, you're not eating three meals a day. You eat one big fatty ribeye and it fills you up. On a lot of days, I'll eat twice. I won't just eat one day. I'll eat bacon and eggs for breakfast, and then I'll have a little steak in the afternoon, and then the next day I'll usually have a big, huge, juicy ribeye, and that'll be it, and I'll be full, and I'm getting everything my body needs, and I'm, I'm on a day almost 56 now, so it's way less expensive, and for people that say it's not, I don't think you're being honest with yourself or doing the proper math to calculate out all the money you're spending, not to mention all of the time you're wasting. I'm so happy I'm not wasting time on food anymore. Because that used to be it. Oh, what are we going to eat tonight? 
rummaging through the cabinets trying to figure out what to eat because I got to eat 25 different things. Every night it's got to be a different meal with different ingredients. I grab a ribeye, I throw it on the grill and 15 minutes later I'm eating and I'm on with my life doing other things and I'm not a slave to my food like everyone else is. So anyways, come with us. We're going to go to this fancy steak restaurant. This is a big treat. This isn't something we do every night. I know a lot of people couldn't afford to do this. We're very blessed and we're very thankful for it. And uh, I didn't eat anything all day. Here we are. Are you hungry? I'm really hungry. I'm starving. What are you gonna Not eat? That close. What are you gonna eat? Um, Here. I'll take the prime rib. You want the um, 24 ounce bludgeon of beef for $120? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll get you the bludgeon of beef. Oh, for sure. I'm getting the uh, bone and ribeye. Here's a, a thing I like to do. We, we don't go to eat too often, but when we do, look at this. <laughs> Shouldn't waste food. We, we, we'll still give that to the chickens. We're gonna share. I get to start with the porterhouse. Okay. Emma gets the ribeye. You don't, you don't want this, do you? No. Come on, vegan. I want Does this bacon. look appetizing? All right, go for it. Yeah. Oh. oh, this looks good. So you get a bone and ribeye, and I have a porterhouse. Bye. Oh my god, she doesn't know how to cut a steak. She knows how to cut cauliflower. Show that. I'm gonna cheers. Oh my god. Is it better than cauliflower? You can do that. It doesn't have many flavors. How was it? Really good. I'm gonna have the ribeye. That's one other thing about being a compassionate carnivore is she doesn't waste any of it. Literally, she's gonna chew that meat off the bone. And these, the fatty pieces are the best stuff for you. She's I'm eating, working on stuff. She's working on it, and she's gonna take the rest home. I still gotta work on this a little bit more. This is pretty good. Nothing goes to waste. Did you eat the bone too? No, it's still here. You're gonna take the whole like, bone broth. Seriously, Oh, that'd be good. Pot. Some water. That was amazing. But definitely not worth the money. <laughs> yeah, but you're not paying, so. Yeah. So, we. Like this video and share it so that he can make his money back. Yeah, let me recoup some of my money. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. All right, good. Seriously, look at what she did. Move she your knife. Cleared the plate. <laughs> There's nothing there. How was it? Good. And the good thing about braces is I'll be eating this the rest of the night. <laughs> yeah, dessert later. The only thing left is that little piece of bone. Is that another piece of bone too? Say it one yeah. more time. So what's happened in 14 days? Um, my sleep's gotten way better and my strength has gotten way better. I've never been able to do a pull-up and I did 10 pull-ups today. And um, my skin's getting a lot better. There's still acne, but it's definitely gotten a lot better. I don't know if it's says carnivore, but my hair is like not getting very oily anymore. My hair feels so much healthier. I don't know if that's because carnivore. And you built but, an entire, um, you built an entire woodshed. Yeah. And sunburns would hurt so bad. I got so sunburned. It didn't even hurt at all. And the next day it went away. Yeah, I got my $85 worth. She uh, worked on our woodshed. We're going to show you that too. All right, so Emma, they just watched your steak video. You got an $85 steak. In the meantime, in the last six days, what did you do? We built this together. Yeah. Me and Emma built this whole in thing. 80 to 90 degree weather. It was and so hot fun. out. We built this whole thing in what, probably three days if you just added yeah. the days together and skipped them I in think between? These heavy beams and heavy wood. Carnivore style. Do you think you could have done it without carnivore lifting this beam? No. So, the other update that Emma and I have is 
Emma made a t-shirt. It's called Compassionate Carnivore. A lot of people were asking about this. So if you're interested, Emma and I have some big plans, right? Yeah. Compassionate Carnivore. Every single penny from those shirts. It's not to make money for us. Emma and I aren't going to take one penny from it. We're putting it into an account and we want to make a documentary on the carnivore diet. I haven't seen any out there. Leave me a comment if you guys have seen any. There's a really good documentary called Fat. It's Fat 1 and Fat 2, but it's not. It's, it's more about keto and less about carnivore. We want to make a whole documentary. I would love to have like Dr. Barry and Dr. Chaffee and all those people, a lot of people that we've had on our channel in a documentary. And then I'd like to have some real people, like maybe someone out there is 300 pounds and they're starting carnivore and we follow their whole journey not through the documentary. Not even just for weight loss, like for health and because like Diabetes, maybe we'll have someone that's got diabetes, see if they can reverse it with carnivore. Someone with arthritis, like me, see if they can reverse it, see if someone really overweight and kind of see that journey through the whole documentary and, and to try to teach people because that's our goal is to help as many people as we possibly can and you got to get the word out for that so the only other update we have on emma is she's going to do some more update videos she's on day 14 so maybe on day 30 we'll do another one maybe one in the meantime in the meantime since she had her 85 dollar steak she earned her steak she helped me build this wood shed and when emma helped me work on this wood shed you did the best job you possibly could seriously I don't know if it's because you're carnivore or because you're. Pretty awesome. I don't know if it's because you're carnivore or you're left-handed. This project, she was anticipating things and she was handing me boards and she was getting everything done and she was carrying these big twenty-pound things around. Good job. I don't know if it's because she's left-handed or because it's carnivore. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm saying everything that's Definitely good is carnivore. carnivore now. Do you think it is? Yeah. Because it seems way. It seems like you're different. The other thing I noticed that seems different is Lily's carnivore, Emma's carnivore. It seems like it seems like you guys are less fighting and less drama. Yeah. You and Lily are like chit chatting yeah. and oh I'll make you salmon. Oh I'll make you a steak. Oh I'll yeah, make you this. Yeah, we should never even be like that close. We just fight. It seems like there's a lot less everyone's so chill on carnivore. Everyone I've interviewed that's a carnivore is so chill and relaxed and nice. It's crazy. So that's our update. Compassionate Carnivore t-shirt. We'll leave a link in the description below. It's also below the YouTube channel. Every single penny that goes from that, it's not going in our pockets, it's going towards the carnivore documentary. We're going to do more on that. Maybe we'll do a GoFundMe or Kickstarter or something, but we're very serious and we want to do it. I've done 500 YouTube videos. I've done over 700 videos on Amazon. I've done, um, we did one video, Jen and I did, that was an animation that we were able to get on Netflix. So we've got some experience with Fine, this and Netflix, we think we really? can do it. Yes, Fergus Ferry. Oh yeah. So we think we can, we think we can do it and we want to do it and we're going to reach out. We want to partner with people that can make it the best that we possibly can. And then the other thing we're doing is you can now become a member on Homestead Howe and we're at 97,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I'm 3,000 away from hitting 100,000. Seven years on YouTube and over 500 videos. It's the hardest job I've ever had. Editing for hours on end, video after video. It's so much work. So I'm so excited yeah, to get to... Yeah, you so hard on these videos, so like it, subscribe, share. Yeah, I'm so excited to get to 100,000. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll get a little plaque, and then that'll be it. But um, if you guys want to join, you can be a member, and you can join Homestead How, and you'll get special perks. So click the little join button below to learn more. And that, too, none of that money is going to me or Emma. Every penny from that, if you join, is going towards this documentary movie we're going to be making. The ultimate carnivore movie with the goal of helping as many other people as we can. So many passionate people leaving comments on our YouTube videos. And so many people are just clueless about this and don't have any idea. So we want to put that knowledge out there. Yeah, so I've never heard of it before. If people want to make the change, they'll know what to do. And this is our cool woodshed. If you want to watch this video, you better subscribe to our channel. This video is going to be coming up shortly after. It was three videos, so you can watch two of them now. This third one, finishing this thing, it was crazy. We got some really cool camera shots, and look at it. This thing's just awesome. Look at yeah, it. it trip rock my camera. Yeah, it doesn't do it justice. You can't really probably see on camera. Well, look how tall Emma is. Emma's eight feet tall, and look how high that is above her. I'm five foot four. Emma's five foot four, so that thing is like. 16, 17, 18 feet high right there. We're going to be able to fit so much wood in here. You know what the problem is now, though? What? we got to put all the wood in there. No, yeah, I was saying we should, take, we gotta go we should cut, cut down a tree every we year. we got to go cut down some trees now. Yeah, so we're going to cut down trees. Tree. Look, this is a good shot right here. Look, we got to cut down trees, and then we put them in there, and that heats our entire homestead. There's probably, there's probably a lot of people that are new to our channel and have never been here before. We heat our entire property with this and firewood from our 20 acre property. It heats our upstairs rental unit, our downstairs, and all of our water. 
So we have to fill this thing up with firewood. I actually enjoy doing wood. The reason we made it so big is because now Emma, she's getting her license in a little bit. She's almost 16. She'll be able to back the truck up right into there. That's the plan. You can back the truck up. I made it wide enough. You can back up, dump the wood off in there. The problem we were having before was it was too small and the wood would get out here and then the snow would get all over it. So Yeah, then it'd get all wet and heavy and that's a pain in the stem. What's up? Like a hobo, dude. Hey, have you seen the woodshed we made? Yeah. 